Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. Today's stories include Attorney General hands over indictment file of June 1989 coup to the judiciary. The International Criminal Court has directed 50 criminal charges against Kosheb. Sudan and UNAMID agree to investigate killing of civilians in Kalma camp. The Attorney General Maulana Tagassir Ali Hibir handed the judiciary today the accusation file of the 1989 coup, which includes 40 of the accused. The head of the judicial authority has previously affirmed taking all the procedures and the preparations for launching trials when received the cases filed from the Attorney General. He indicated that the National Committee for the Investigation of the Sit-in Disperse was formed by a decision from the Prime Minister and that it has so far questioned more than 1,000 witnesses while the public prosecution granted the committee its powers, noting that they cannot interfere in the committee's work, pointing that some of the accused are outside of the country. The International Criminal Court, ICC, has directed 50 criminal charges against the accused Muhammad Ali Abdurrahman Ali Kosheb, one of the accused of war crimes against civilians in Darfur in 2003. The court, which was held shortly at the ICC headquarters, headed by a single judge, Rosario Salvatore Italia, accused Kosheb of a number of charges, including murder, looting, property theft, destruction, rape, and displacement of citizens in cooperation with other people in Darfur. The arrest warrant includes 22 charges of crimes against humanity. The court also filed 28 war crimes, charges against murder, assault on life, physical integrity, assault on personal dignity, especially degrading the civilian population, looting, rape, property seizure, and destruction. Sudanese government and that for hybrid peace commission have agreed to form a investigation committee to probably kill two civilians in the camp outside Niala, capital of South Darfur state. Two civilians were killed by gunmen inside Darfur, largest camp of 1,219 694 residents when their vehicle lost its way and found themselves in the area. The government and UNAMID swiftly deployed troops around the camp to prevent a retaliation attack on IDPs similar to what happened outside the Jinena in December 2019. <coughs> Federal Minister of Health Dr. Akram Ali Tom briefed on the health situations in the Red Sea and Sinai states in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic and the needs of the two states for life-saving drugs, the rehabilitation of the existing health facilities and the medical care shortage in the two states. This came when the minister met separately the acting governors of the two states. The minister affirmed his ministry's provision to some requirements of the two states to combat the pandemic and the rainfall diseases. Federal Health Minister Akram Ali Tom has confirmed the government's concern over the Sudanese nationals stranded abroad and its effort to provide a suitable atmosphere to receive them in their country by taking the questioned measures and arrangements to meet their needs. Dr. Akram, interviewed by Suna, pointed out that the return of the stranded is the duty of the state, especially the ill people who could not stay for a long time abroad. He explained that the stranded were classified into three groups that include a group that suffers from chronic disease and were on a treatment trip. These patients need medical equipment, including all medical aids, and a group that has been quarantined in the countries in which they were tested three days ago. As for the third group, which was not quarantined and no checks were made, they need to be quarantined for two weeks. Senior official at the Federal Ministry of Health has declared 232 cases of COVID-19 bringing the total to 7,220, 12 deaths and recovery is 54. Khartoum has reported 150 cases of coronavirus and 27 recoveries. The ministry urged the citizens to apply the rules of health emergency on staying at home. Also, he appealed to report suspicious cases of COVID-19 to the Epidemic Center via 1990 all over Sudan. QMB Group, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa, becomes the first bank in Sudan to have successfully performed an international payment card transaction in partnership with MasterCard, the world's second largest payment processor. The transaction was performed using a MasterCard virtual prepaid card product. QMB is also the first bank in Sudan to have obtained an issuance license from MasterCard, 
said the technology company in the payments industry in a statement extended to Sudan Tribune on Sunday. Mastercard said its partnership with the QMB Sudan will allow more people and businesses across the country to use ways to pay locally and globally. Reminding headlines. Attorney General hands over indictment file of June 1928 coup to judiciary. The International Criminal Court has directed 50 criminal charges against Koshib. Sudan and UNAMID agree to investigate killing of civilians in Kelma camp. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.